Oh man, this is almost a video I hate to make because I really want to see these guys win, but things just are not going good as they are right now. It started off with the arenas, uh, less people started showing up at the shows. Now it's reflecting in the ratings. Brian, AEW just pulled, I think, their lowest rating of all time, or they said this was their lowest rating since NXT moved to Tuesday night. What's going on? Man, I don't know because I felt like they went on like a nice little two run episode of where the show was doing very well. Then it kind of cooled down a bit last Wednesday. It was just a basic show. Uh, they had Dax Hardwood in the main event that could play a little bit of a role too. And while those ratings were very low, so uh, very interesting, man. Like I, I feel like there's there's so much more uh, with AEW and the way that they've been running their their stories. Because I'm not gonna sit here and say that they haven't been putting on good stories. It's just I don't know if people are kind of fizzling out at this point and they're just checked out. Like they don't care what AEW does at this point, and it's gotten to this point because. 600,000 for dynamite or it was I think I believe it was 672 but for dynamite is kind of crazy because yeah we've we've seen 800 900 we've gotten used to those the last year mm -hmm. but 600 is pretty much collision numbers when people were like collision has fallen off like that's before it really started to hit rock bottom so very interesting on how they will approach this from now on they better start doing some crazy stuff on TV man because right now it's, it's looking rough yeah, that's kind of what's got me worried, though, because they are doing some crazy stuff on TV. Yeah. Tony Khan um, getting beat up on AEW Dynamite. I think that's kind of like the biggest angle they could ever run. I don't see anything bigger than that they can do, and that didn't bring people in. And like you said, they went on a, two, a good two-week run, and last week was a basic episode, but, I mean, it's still, I don't think it was a bad episode, like one of the worst episodes we've oh, seen, no. because they did do some stuff with Swerve that was pretty good. I think the mercedes Monet and um, Willow Nightingale, that stuff was good, but it's still not pulling people in. In fact, mercedes Monet, I'm sure they, they paid her a lot of money to come in, and she's having this big angle on your lowest-rated show ever. That's not a good thing, and it shows me that they have not invested their money in the right ways. And I don't know what Tony Khan needs to do. I'm hoping people haven't just fizzled out and given up, given up on the product completely. But unfortunately, that's what it looks like is going on because they're putting on good shows and people still aren't tuning in. Now, this is bad because if we look at what's happened in WWE since AEW popped up, WWE has gotten better. The game has gotten better because of AEW's um, new game, the AEW Fight Forever. But if AEW goes away, which... I know people don't want to hear and people are going to say, oh, it's kind of like uh, panicking and it's not going to happen. But 600,000 viewers is not good for a major wrestling show. That's kind of heading into TNA numbers like 800,000 wasn't good. Like when we were getting those 800,000 ratings, I was like, you know what? These guys need to get back up closer to that million. But they haven't captured a million, I don't think, in almost a year, if not longer than that. So I don't know what they can do, but it's just not looking good for them. Yeah, nah, I definitely agree. Right now, it's definitely it's looking scary right now for AEW, um, especially being that they are in negotiations right now. Yeah, that's another thing too that you gotta like be on the lookout for them negotiating because this is something that you know could sway one way or the other. And I know that right now they need all the leverage possible. And uh, being in the six hundreds for your flagship premier premier show, this is the this is the show right here. If anybody's going to watch AEW, it's Dynamite. So yep. it, is, it is going to be very interesting how they continue to approach this. But they are paying big, big money to these wrestlers, and they are struggling big time. So Yeah, speaking of that. So one thing, uh, one thing you mentioned there was a TV deal coming up. Yep. This is the worst time to be hitting these lowest numbers ever because when you're going in there negotiating, you want to have good numbers like, all right, this is what we're doing. We're number one, number two, number three on cable every week, so we want this amount of money. But yep. when you're getting your lowest views ever. I don't know where they stand in the uh, ratings, rankings right now, but if they're past the top 10 or under top 10, then it's not going to look good for their number. And like you said, they're paying these wrestlers a lot of money. So they got to get a good tv deal in order to make up for all of the contracts they have right now and speaking of the tv deals and paying wrestlers a lot of money um omar from real take wrestling he just showed us this um 
the layout for their new collision shows coming up they're all in the same arena apparently the arena is going to uh, pay for the cost for them or something but they're running in the same building they're not going to be touring and that reminds me of tna so i mean it's going to be good for them when it comes to saving money and making money but when it comes to them just deciding like you know what maybe we don't need to tour this right now then it shows that their outlook on collision just isn't where they want it to be I think the big mistake was them even making Collision in the first place. I understand you want to keep CM Punk, give him his own show, and try to keep everything under wraps, but CM Punk is a crash-out artist, and he crashed out like he always does. Now he's gone, and you still have Collision, and you really have nobody to man that show because I'm not tuning in on Saturday night when I'm out doing whatever just to see FTR wrestle a great match. That's not what I want to see. I watch Dynamite for their great stories, but I'm not going to go out of the way to watch Collision just to get some extra wrestling. I, you know what? They got to fix it. I think they need to cut Collision. I think they need to cut Rampage, yeah, yeah. and they need to focus in on Dynamite. Tour with that one show. I understand you're getting more money from those TV deals, but you're killing your brand. Do you want more money right now, or do you want to have longevity with this one brand that you keep building up? Because I think that's where they really hurt themselves, just spreading themselves too far out. No, I definitely agree, and I think that they need to cut those shows. Them opening that collision show because it was going to be CM Punk's show, that is one of their biggest mistakes, and they should have just it was resolved a mistake. that. Uh, before I even got to opening a separate show with separate brands and doing all that mm -hmm. extra stuff. Because don't get me wrong, their roster is extremely talented, and they can probably use the yeah. second show, but they're, all their shows are struggling right now. I feel like they really got to focus in on one, and once you continue building that one show, you can expand. But right now, it's definitely not the time to continue expanding and doing different things because I'll be honest, I can't even remember the last time I tuned into an episode of Collision. Sometimes it may be on and I'm home, but I just don't care enough to tune in. And I think that may be the general problem or general consensus with a lot of the audience right now. Yeah. And I mean, it's on a Saturday night. I probably, y'all, I love AEW. I know we'll probably get comments saying, oh, you guys are AEW haters, but yeah. Brian's the AEW hater. I love AEW. But I've probably watched one or two episodes of Collision. For one, wasn't a CM Punk fan. Don't care about the guy. I don't want to mm -hmm. see him on my TV. For two, it's on Saturday night. On Saturday nights, you got UFC. You got um, WWE pay-per-views sometimes. Of course, sometimes you get the AEW pay-per-views as well. But you kind of got to stop everything you're doing on a Saturday night when you've worked all week just to sit down and watch Collision. It just, I think it's in a bad spot. And it, it was like dead on arrival, really. Even if it was doing good the first few weeks, it's not just going to live on like that. So no, I think right now they need to cancel Christmas on it. 100%. But let us know down below, guys. Do you guys think that AEW can be revived? Because right now it's pretty much looking dead. It's in a coffin. Can it come they can back? They can bring up? it back. They can bring you it back. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to catch y'all. Make sure to kiss that ring.